let's talk about uh, Node.js. Uh, and in particular, we'll talk about uh, Express as part of uh, Node.js. As I um, mentioned earlier, uh, we are taking a look at the uh, what we call the main stack, which is a combination of four technologies. Um, uh, one is the Angular as the uh, imp implementing the front end. The, we have then the middle tier implemented using Node.js, uh, and in particular, Node.js using Express, right? So the, the E in main is, is, stands for Express, right? So M is for Mongo, E is for Express. Express is just a very popular Node.js uh, module, right? Uh, it's used for creating a um, you know, very, very simple way of creating middle tier uh, server side applications uh, that runs inside of a node server. Uh, and then obviously the the um, so the E and the and the N stand for Express and Node, and then obviously M is for Mongo. So let's focus a little bit on the middle tier here, implementing uh, Node.js. Okay. Uh, so Node.js is nothing but a, um, a, a it's an open op, uh, open source cross platform um, framework that allows you to execute JavaScript, but on the server side, right, on your desktop. You know, when everybody thinks about JavaScript. Usually, we think about JavaScript running on a browser, right? And, uh, and, and now, um, Node.js allows us to go beyond that and says, OK, well, not, not only can I execute it on a browser, I can also execute it on a, on a, on a desktop, on, on any machine, right? Now, what, why, why is that appealing? Well, certainly, the, there was a huge appeal of JavaScript running on a browser. It gives you, you know, dynamic user interfaces. Um, it allows you to you know, connect to remote. Uh, services, uh, interact with the user. There's all sorts of really cool things that you can do on the browser, but there's a lot of limitations, right? You can't access a file system. You can't connect to a database directly. Uh, there, are, there are limited connections that you can do to the network, right? Only typically uh, through the, you know, back to the, um, wherever you were downloaded from. So, so there's a lot of limitations of what you can do on the browser. So a, a lot of those limitations can be um, uh, countered or, or can be uh, complemented with JavaScript running on the server side, right, through Node.js. By running on the on the server, uh, a JavaScript can um, can access the file system. It can it can uh, access and uh, connect to a database. It can um, do unfettered access to the network, right? There are, there are no security measure uh, uh, anything stopping from uh, connecting to anywhere in the network. Um, what you don't get, obviously, is the front end, right? There's there's no user interaction whatsoever. You know, there is no Windows. There there is there are no buttons, no input fields. But so so together, these the you know the 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 um the Angular on the front end and and uh, and Node.js right together they complement each other very very well. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, uh, using uh, Node.js. Uh, so what we're going to do is that uh, we're, we're going to create a server um, using Node.js. So let's do that. Uh, let's go back up one. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so notice that we already have a server, a Java server. I'm going to create another server, uh, but this time using uh, Node.js. Right, so I'm going to say web dev. So I'm going to create a new directory. So make the directory uh, web dev 2019. Um, Genuzi. This is a server, but it's a Node.js server, not a Java server. All right, so there it is. So it's a directory. Uh, let's go into that directory. So web dev. Uh, 19, uh, Januzzi, server, node. Okay. So the way we're going to create it is by creating a Node.js uh, project first, right? A brand new project. And the way we do that is we use npm to create the project. We can say npm init. So npm init is going to ask us, well, what do you want to call this project? Uh, it takes by default the name of the, of, the, of the parent directory as the name of our project. Uh, we say, yep, yeah, I'm going to grab that and version 1.0. Uh, description here you would you know describe what the project is the entry point test commands the repository keywords the author jose Ananziato, uh license and this is okay yep that's okay uh and what basically what it does is just creates this package.json that's all it does right which is the equivalent of the palm file in java yes uh, the palm file is where we declare the project with the dependencies blah 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 same thing that's what package.json is um, all right, um, we got the project all done. Let's uh, let's now create our our JavaScript that we want to run, and I'm going to open it up with our favorite IDE. I'm going to say open. Uh, there it is. There's our our server. I'm going to open that up, and we're going to create our uh, our first file in here. We're going to say new uh, JavaScript file, and we'll call it server.js because we're going to build a server, right? 
Uh, now, obviously, Node.js can be built for implementing whatever you want. Any any console, um, uh, you know, application you, you build it, but it's it's become very very popular uh, to use uh, Node.js, uh, you know, JavaScript to create servers, running servers. Um, just to just to verify that this is actually working, I'm going to do a, a hello world. So I'm going to do um, hello world. And I'm going to save that. Uh, and here I'm going to do, if, an, if, I have, if I do an LS, notice that I have server.js so that we just created. And hopefully this will work. I'm going to say node server. And it runs, and indeed it does a console hello world. So we have the simplest of, a, of, uh, of, of node applications, right? Hello world application. Okay, uh, let's move on and let's actually create a server, right? A really, really simple server. Let's do that next.